Today, we want to continue our classes on uh, FB311 Business Information Technology uh, to lay the foundation. We need to understand that the world we live in, technology has come to change a whole lot of things. It has changed the way we live. Some of those changes are gradual and incremental. Why some of those changes are sudden and disruptive in nature? So we need to look at the fundamentals of business information technology, the components, look at the component of business and look at the place of information technology tools in each of the components of business. Now, for today, some of the things we'll be looking at in the first instance will be shared here very soon, such that we'll know our guide and the things that we'll need uh, to do in understanding business, in understanding information technology, and in understanding information technology components as it affects what we do. And this affects all of us. Either we are sole proprietor, partnership, limited liability company, big conglomerate, or a very big enterprise. There's an element of information technology in all that we do is become a major driver and one of the major sources by which organization gain competitive advantage. So we'll look at what are the main roles that information system plays in organization. We'll try to understand the concept of data, information, and knowledge, and look at the characteristics that makes information to be valuable. We'll also look at the components of information system and the role that each of them plays. Not only that, we look at several research areas in the disciplines of management information systems and also provide examples of how various businesses, profit-oriented, non-profit-oriented, government organization, how they get to benefit from information technology and the role information technology plays in ensuring that uh, they achieve their goals and uh, objectives. Now, having said that, when we look at information technology, it is basically a concept that involves several, 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 several things. But as several as it is, the foundation is, there is a part of it that is called the hardware. There's also a part of it that is called the software. What does the hardware mean? Hardware are the physical components of computing devices. In the early days, we used to call it computer. But again, it is better referred to as computing devices because embedded computing is growing and is growing so fast such that you cannot really refer to a device as a computer again. But you could, it's better discussed, it's better presented as computing device. Because even with embedded computing, devices that ordinarily are not meant to perform computing function, have computing functions, electronic functions, embedded into them that aided automation provide faster access, that is speed, accuracy, and a whole lot of sync. So in computing devices, you have the physical aspect that you can see, that you can feel, and that you can touch. And you also have the aspect that is not physical, which we refer to more or less as a software. And we say software, a series of programs, series of instructions that are weaved together in a bid to solve a particular problem or provide a service. So the combination of that is what we refer to here as software. So when you have the hardware, the software, 
and the utility together, we say we have a computing device. So in this computing device, there is this aspect of it that we call the system software. That is splitting the software aspect now. The system software is the host software. A good example of the system software is the operating system. That is the software that you first have on any computing device. It serves as the welcome application. It serves as a coordination application. It serves as a control software. That is why it's called system software. It's a software that acts as an interface between the system on one hand, all components of the system, every part of the hardware, input, output, storage, control, processing, logic, battery, power, thing on the system on one hand, then the users on the other hand. Starting from how the user log in, what the user does, how it's being done, including the application he installed, the storage space that is allocated to those application, the relationship between one application or the other, all those are functions of the operating system. And that is why we say the operating system control and coordinate all the activities that takes place on a computer system. Now, having got all that, the operating system, we have the Mac OS, we have the Windows operating system. On mobile devices, we also have an Android operating system, apart from the iOS. So operating systems comes first. It is after you have the operating system that you have what we call application software. What are application software? Application software are basically software that are developed to be used to provide services, to provide value in different areas of endeavor by which the use of the computer can be applied. Games, working in the office, typing documents, producing spreadsheets, designing, making presentations, doing drawings, managing music, talking with each other communication, all these are application software, banking applications, engineering applications, insurance applications, applications that are used in medicine, that are used in airlines, that are used in different areas. And that is why when you go to App Store, you see different applications. Those applications is what is abbreviated as apps that we all call apps, apps. And you and I know that the apps you have on your phone or your laptop is not up to 2% of the apps that existed, which means the areas where the use of computer can be applied. So again, we are individuals with limitations. You only pick the one that is important to you and what you do. So I think you'll be able to provide that clarification from the angle of systems. Now, when you work at business, every business endeavor involves different activity, right from conceptualization, thinking of what to do, talking to clients, organizing the organization, the organization, structure, strategy, communications among staff, among external organization, document production, management of document, planning of documents that provides speed, that provides accuracy, that deliver value on point and on time. So we want to see how information technology helps us to do all this. Thank you.